Hey everyone, uh, we're here again with Bernie Sukalski from the ArcGIS Explorer team uh, here at ESRI and uh, just exploring a little bit more some of the some of the neat new features uh, with ArcGIS Explorer 480. Bern, uh, one of the one of the new tools or one of the new tasks you were talking to me about before was the was the quick content task. Wanted to get a chance to to show everyone how that works. So, uh, can you give us a look? Sure. Uh, first, uh, first, let me show you how you can learn more about it. Uh, if you just go to the ArcGIS Explorer Resource Center, on that that main page, you'll find a, a list of all the new features that are in this release, and you can just click on that. And uh, if you take a look through that, you'll discover that one of the new tasks that we've added is something called Quick Content. That's one of seven new tasks that we've added uh, uh, in this release. Now, those new tasks are actually placed in two different locations. One location where you can add tasks is from the Resource Center, from the Tasks tab under Content. And the other place is directly through the Task Manager, and that's where Quick Content is. So if I choose Tools and then Manage Tasks and look up at the top of the list, I'll see something called Quick Content. I can just select that and then hit the arrow key to move it over into my currently available tasks in my map. And when I click OK, I'll see the Quick Content task has now been added to my list of tasks. And to enable it, I just or to activate it, I just click on it and now it becomes the active task in the task center. Now, in a lot of ways, this quick content task can be used to sort of replace the table of content. So I can open up the quick content task and I can hide all the rest of the user interface. I just hit uh, Control Shift T there to toggle that. And now I just have the quick content uh, task uh, available. And this is just an HTML page right now. Uh, it can be any type of a, a web page. It could be an ASP uh, page that's driven from a back-end server. It could be a PHP file or really anything that provides links to content. And this automatically opened up with some examples that are part of the help system. So to see how this works, I just click on one of these. Here's a geotagged photo. And when I click on it, it's actually an NMF file that's being linked to in this document and will automatically uh, open or zoom to that location and open up the associated picture. And in this case, it's a, a picture taken of the ESRI campus. So there we are. But what this is intended to do is for you to build your own content that you would want to display in here. And let me just uh, highlight the address, and I'm going to paste in another address and show you an example of uh, some different content. So in this case here, what we have is a small little web page which allows me to add things to my map. So for example, uh, here's uh, some information about Phoenix Fire Station. So to add this to my map, I can just click on it in the Quick Content menu, and these are the locations of fire stations throughout Phoenix. So that's one uh, type of uh, thing that we can add to our map. But one of the ideas behind this is because it can be a dynamic web page, things can happen and I will automatically see them appear when this page is refreshed. So for example, um, if I want to provide a way to notify people when certain events happen, this might be a good, good way to go about doing that. So um, I can see here that there's been a major traffic accident. Here's one that uh, actually happened in downtown Phoenix. So again, the pop-up window opens and I can get some more information about that. But uh, again, the real focus of quick content is just provide a quick way for you to access content that you want to add and view on your map. Super. So if this is a static page, you bring it in static, you can get to those, uh, you can get to that content by clicking on it. But I see what you mean, because if, if that page is being refreshed, uh, if it's dynamic and being refreshed automatically, then you can almost think of ArcGIS Explorer as a live view on that resource. Right. It's a, it's a quick way to be able to present information and an easy way for people to access that information. Excellent. Very good. Hey, thanks for your time, Bernie. Thanks, Jim. All right. Take care. See you.